Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For those of you guys that haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe so you can get the newest notifications of the videos that are being uploaded. I want to wish you guys a very happy and blessed Valentine. Sending you guys love and light as always. And I truly, genuinely hope that you guys are able to embrace um, this Valentine uh, with an open heart and an open mind. Let's get into the reading and see what Spirit has for you Capricorns for the month of February 2018. Your first card is the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, sorry, the Ace of Wands, the Lover's card, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. All right. Hopefully you guys can see better. All right, Capricorn, you have the Knight of Swords here, the Knight of Swords. I feel that this is going to be your energy, Capricorn, for the month of February. You guys are going to be very focused and determined. Almost almost like being very narrow in your focus. And this is a very good and positive thing for you guys. Because I see you guys very motivated, um, very aggressive. And, and this is very positive for Capricorns because you guys are naturally this way. Uh, again, Saturn being in your sign, you're very focused and determined on what you want, your aspirations, your goals. Um, so this is you, again, being very focused, almost unapologetically, um, not being able to mingle or not being able to really have downtime or relaxed time. Um but it's like you don't care because you know exactly what it is that you want and you're definitely going to make that happen. And this is a very good, positive energy. You have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Wands is definitely a new beginning in regards to love and romance. So for some of you guys, it could play out. Um, for those of you guys that are married or have been in a long-term committed relationship, I definitely do see here uh, with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card there's going to be a re, you know, reigniting the flame in your relationship, um, going into the next chapter of your life, uh, being focused on what it is that almost working together as a team. And this is something very beautiful because it definitely brings out the best in you, Capricorn. You're very supported. Uh, your support system is very strong in regards to your love and romance for those of you guys that are married or in a long term committed relationship. For others of you, I do see an opportunity to rekindle something that has to do with, sorry, something that has to do with, um, it could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. For others of you, Capricorn, I feel that you're, the lover's card, not sure if you can see, let me see. The lover's card is right, um, it's right in the middle. And I feel that this is you having to make a choice between a water sign and a fire sign. So this could play out in, in, in many different ways. But the way I'm picking it up from the cards, it's like the cards are telling you that there's going to be an opportunity to revisit the past with someone that was a fire sign. Um that may reach out to you or may come back to you but it's like your eyes were set on the water sign and this person finally comes back or tries to communicate or contact you and around the same time is when you have the opportunity to rekindle something from the past with an aries a leo or sagittarius now, you do have the Six of Pentacles here, and the Six of Pentacles is definitely talking about a giving and receiving energy. And I feel that for a lot of you Capricorns, again, like I said, whatever it is you've been hoping for or asking for, you will see manifested throughout this whole year. But I feel that for a lot of you guys, in regards to love and romance, there's going to be an opportunity to start something new. Um, and I do see that a lot of people are coming back from your past as you know the ace of wands is ignited passion new beginnings new new inspiration but at the same time it is in the past and passing so it could represent people from your past 
coming back, trying to reach out, trying to rekindle what was once there. Um, I do see a water sign, nonetheless, that is in the present uh, or coming to the very near future where they will be reaching out, asking to give them an opportunity or asking you um, to almost like if you're willing to put the effort, I'm definitely willing to put the effort. It's almost like they now do want to commit to you. There is definitely a commitment coming through. But again, I feel that for a lot of you Capricorns, this could be, um, this could have to do with dealing with a person from the past. Now you do have, again, like I said, the Six of Pentacles is right underneath the Lover's card and the Ace of Wands. So it's choose wisely when choosing a partner for you. Um, know and understand that Saturn is in your sign and whatever relationship that becomes monogamous um, around this time is going to be something that is going to be long lasting and very promising for the coming years. So know and understand not to give into the passion or not to give into solely the physical appearance. Try the best you can to give your opportunity. And I say you give yourself the opportunity to actually connect with the person that has the same desires or sees relationships the, the same way you do. Um, Capricorns can be known for being, you know, a bit of players, <laughs> quote unquote. But when you guys get to a point where you want or know what you want, uh, you guys are very committed and very loyal. And again, like I said, do not invest or commit yourself to something that is temporary. When there is an opportunity to choose between temporary or long term, you're an earth sign. And earth signs are always very practical. Try the best you can not to give in to your passions or your desires as the ace here. Uh, the ace of wands and the lover's card can represent uh, being tempted. Again, like I said, but the six of pentacles is here to tell you be very wise in the giving and receiving of your energy. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Capricorns, and we will see each other in the middle of the month. Bye.